What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today we're going to be talking about Color Keyboard. Now if you guys aren't familiar with Color Keyboard, this is an awesome tweak. It allows you to completely theme your keyboard any way you want. You can download different themes, you can use the preloaded themes in the tweak itself and this was just updated for iOS 7 today. So this was on uh, previous jailbreaks or previous iOS's but it was just today updated for iOS 7 so this is a very highly anticipated tweak because it's not just going to change the tint or the color of the keyboard it's actually going to change the texture of it. it's going to make it look completely different and give you a completely different feel depending on what you choose so you can see right here if we go into the settings panel we have color keyboard enable or disable switch right there and here's where you can actually select your theme so you can see that we have a ton of different themes right here that we can choose from these are preloaded into the uh, tweak itself and if you want to get a preview of what these look like before you actually set them then you can just tap on the little eye right here and it'll show you exactly what these look like so really I mean depending on what your theme is with these keyboards it's gonna be pretty hard not to find something that is going to match your theme or make you happy by looking at these so the keyboard that I have set right now is the iMat 4 row with the shelf. So if we tap on the eye, we can get a preview of what this looks like. And mine looks just like this, except it has a transparent background. So you can see right here that the keys look like they're kind of sitting on a shelf. And that's what uh, the shelf means right there. So if we tap on the no shelf, then it kind of just looks like they're on the keyboard rather than sitting on a keyboard, if, if you understand what I mean. But if we go back up here, this also is going to theme your fifth row if you have a tweak enabled like iKiwi or anything that adds a fifth row to your keyboard then you can uh, use this to theme your keyboard just like that now I mean there's a ton of different looks as you can see right here if we just scroll through a ton of them and rather than uh, setting all these and showing you what they look like I'm just gonna go through a few of these tap on the eye and show you what these look like I mean there's a ton of these and the only downside of this is you actually have to respring your device in order to get these to take effect which is kind of a bummer but I mean you get to get you get to get a preview right here so it's not really that big of a deal now other than setting your themes right here you can actually go into customized backgrounds now I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly what the iPhone standard and iPhone alert uh, separation here is I literally I tried to figure it out I asked questions I couldn't get a straight answer so but for me I couldn't get the iPhone standard to actually do anything so I'll show you what the iPhone alert does so these actually have the exact same options as you can see right here just one of them doesn't really do anything for my device so on the iPhone alert you can actually set your portrait background and your landscape background right here so if we tap on this then you can choose either these preloaded ones which are extremely ugly in my opinion or you can load your own so you can see I've actually loaded one of my own just from the uh, my photo album but before we actually change this up and my do not disturb doesn't seem to be helping very well right now but if we uh, go ahead and open up our spotlight right here you can see our keyboard and I think it actually looks pretty good now there is a glitch here and I'm not quite sure what the issue is but if you tap on the shift button oh it looks like it didn't do it so okay there you go if I open up the numbers key you can see that it doesn't have that transparent background it actually changes and then when I change back it goes to the transparent and now it's the transparent background right here so when you're switching through these like this you can see it sometimes can screw up so just keep that in mind this is an issue that uh, is going on so hopefully that'll be fixed in a future update and my Twitter is just blowing up right now but we can actually jump into our messages app here and you can see that we have our keyboard right here as well and if we switch it to landscape mode it still has that keyboard but you can actually change this up with that uh, background that I was showing you so when you switch from portrait to landscape you can actually change the background or the keyboard so I'm going to show you how to do that right now if we jump into the settings here we're going to change the background right here on the portrait to uh, this picture right here and then for landscape we'll change this up to this right here and like I said before you actually do have to respring your device so once this resprings we'll go ahead and check out our changes all right, so now if we slide to unlock our device and we pull down the spotlight here, you can see the differences that took place. I'm not quite sure why this changed to a yellow keys. Uh, let's hit the shift key and see what happens. Okay, 
Not sure why that changed to yellow keys. I don't remember changing that. Oh, maybe I did when I was messing with it. That's probably what happened. So let's go into our messages app here and we're gonna tap on this. And now when we go to landscape mode, it actually changes. You can see that I changed my background differently. So you have two different backgrounds for portrait and landscape. So now let's go into settings here and we're going to go back to color keyboard. And you can also see down here we have a theme gallery. So you can tap on that. And this is actually going to give you some more themes here. So you can go through here and if you tap on one of them, then it's gonna tell you how to actually get this theme. So if you wanted this uh, iMat Lightwood, then you can go right here, go to Cydia, search iMat Lightwood, and you'll be able to download that and install it. You can actually create your own themes as well. I'm not gonna show you how to do that just because it's a little more advanced and a little difficult to do in just a short tutorial like this. But you can see here that not all of these are actually installable from Cydia. If you tap on this one, you'll actually have to download this from a link in Safari. So just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a ton of different customizations that you have with Color Keyboard. So I highly recommend checking this out. It's a really awesome tweak and I highly recommend it. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys. Until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.